Hi, Marilyn here with Cotton and Chocolate, and now we're doing uh, month five, which is June, for Mineral Matrix. And so this is about cutting the block. But before we get started, I have something super, super important to share with you. So last Saturday sampler last year in 2020, every month I introduced a recipe, super delicious, FYI. And I haven't done that this month just because, you know, I have a lot of blocks going on. I know, not a great excuse, but it is what it is. However, I have a recipe to talk to you about, and I will post it and um, eat it. So, a lot of you know my famous, famous, I know, super famous, uh, caramel brownie recipe that I brought into the shop. I've shared it every year with Saturday Sampler. I've shared the recipe. We've all eaten it. Super delicious. So it was my son's birthday last week and he wanted to do, you know, like a brownie cookie layered thing. I know people call them brown, brown, Blinies. brown brookies, all that, whatever. I, I don't care what they call it. I have my own thing so much better than that. I looked online and I said, what about using that caramel brownie recipe and adding my delicious chocolate chip cookie to that? Did it, turned out fabulous. So I took that, the exact caramel brownie recipe and on that second step when you're adding that gooey, delicious, melty caramel and the layer of chocolate chips did that and then I took my chocolate chip cookie dough and sprinkled that on top. I know you're with me, right? It sounds so good. Yes. And I just cooked it a little longer. And look at what happened. I know. You just have to look at these. They're super good. You can see the brownies in here. And then the chocolate chip cookie on top. And if you're thinking that looks delicious, I hope you are. And if you aren't, then you can ignore this. And you don't have to talk to me anymore. That's right. Mm. And I will guarantee you... Super good. And what's really good with it is cold Diet Coke. And what's even better, yes, you got that right, because you know me, champagne. Mm. So good. Cold champagne and those cookie bars are a winner. And it doesn't even have to be your birthday, although my birthday is right around the corner. It's coming up. It's almost September. Okay, keep that in mind. So, okay, we have to move on to cutting this block. So this is block five right here, okay? But it looks better in person. Well, on camera. This is the block right here that we're doing. Okay, and the name of the block is, guess what? Ah, block five! Super funny names, I know. Okay, fabric one. Now you should have your swatch chart out, like I don't, but <laughs> I have the fabric out, so that's better. But get your swatch chart out so you don't get the fabrics messed up. So block one, fabric one, cut four two and a half inch squares. Block three, one five and a half inch square for your goose. Four, fabric four, cut four three and a quarter inch squares and four two and a half inch squares. Okay, so a half square triangles and something else. Okay, fabric five is your three and a quarter inch squares and your two and a half inch squares. Fabric six for your geese as a five and a half inch square. And then fabric seven and fabric nine. Oh, well, fabric seven is eight or eight three inch squares. I changed these for the geese. You know, we've done this all every month now. So you should know my drill. For the flying geese, instead of three and an eighth, I cut them three inches if you're using the wing clipper, right? Same story every month. And then fabric nine for one four and a half inch square. Okay, so that's your cutting, and then I'll see you back here for piecing. We'll see you in a minute.